Today we're going to take a look at transformations, more specifically a reflection. Uh, this might be a review for some of you, but the way that we use it in geometry is slightly different. And so first, let's take a look at some vocab that you're going to need to know. When we talk about mapping, we're talking about moving an object. Next, an original figure we call the pre-image. And then the new figure that we make is called the image. Transformations change the size, shape, or orientation of a figure. And so with the reflection, we reflect over the line of symmetry, which is usually in the center, which makes the points equal distance apart from the line of symmetry. And so there are different possible lines of reflection. The first line of reflection is the x-axis. Then we have the y-axis, the y equals x line, and then the last would be the y equals negative x line. Let's take a look at some examples. So in this first example, we're going to re reflect a triangle, which I've already graphed, over the x-axis. And so when we reflect over the x-axis, the reflection is going to go up or down. And so in this case, because it's above the x-axis, it's going to go down. And so all we have to do is count the same distance from the x-axis down. And so here, if we look at C, C is 1 away, so we go 1 down. And that gives us our image point, which we are going to call C prime. And if you notice, that's going to be at 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 5, negative 1. And we do the same thing for all the points. So at A is down 2 units. So we go 2 units below the x-axis. And we're going to label that A prime. And then B... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 units away, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units down. And again, we're going to call that B prime. So now if we look, A prime is at 1, 2, 3, negative 4, negative 2. And B prime is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, at 4, negative 7. And that is our image. We get a triangle down below like that. And so one other thing to notice is, if you look at the original point, a was at negative 4, 2. Now it's at negative 4, negative 2. B was at 4, 7. Now it's at 4, negative 7. And then C was at 5, 1. Now it's at 5, negative 1. And so notice that all of the Y values changed because we went from the top to the bottom. And so we get a nice rule, as we call it. And so we would say for every x y when we reflect it over the x axis <clears throat> all the image points now become x negative y because all the y values are going to change in our next example we're going to reflect this rectangle over the y axis and so if you notice, here's the y-axis, and so we're going to reflect left or right, and in this case to the left, since the rectangle is to the right of the y-axis. And we do the same process. And so let's look at P first. Let's find P prime. And so notice it's one away from the y-axis. So we go one on the other side, and there is P prime. So P prime is at negative 1, 2. Q 
two. We're going to go two to the other side now. One, two. And so there is Q prime. Oops, Q prime. And so that is at negative two. One, two, three, four, five. Negative two, five. R. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I know it's at negative eight. One, two, three. So it is at negative eight, three. That is R prime. And then S, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There is S prime, and that is at seven, negative seven, zero. And there is our rectangle. And again, if you look at the original coordinates, it was at one, two. Now it's at negative one, two for point P and P prime. Q was at two, five. Q prime is at negative two, five. And this pattern continues. And so we get another rule, which again, for every X and Y value, right? Notice that the X value changed from a positive to a negative, and the Y values stay the same. And so we get negative X comma Y. And that is the rule. And so we have two more examples. And so the next example, this time we're going to reflect the triangle over the Y equals X line. And so Y equals X is a diagonal line that starts at the bottom left and goes to the top right. And so these are a little bit special. And so this time it's the same thing, but instead of going up or down or left or right, we're going to go diagonal. And so if you look at point X, when I reflect it over the Y equals X line, it should end up somewhere down here. And so again, we can count diagonally. And so we're going to go from corner to corner. So that's one and a half. And so again, we go half and then one. And that puts X prime down here. And if we look at its coordinate, that's at negative two, one, two, three, four, five, negative five. For Y, we can do the same thing. And so it's one, two, three and a half uh, units to the diagonal line. So here we go half and then one, two, three. And there is Y prime. And its new, or the image point is at one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So it's at four, negative three. And then Z, it is one unit. And so we go one unit diagonally again to get Z prime. And so Z prime is at one, negative one. And there is the image of triangle X, Y, Z. And so again, this one comes with the rule as well. And so if you look, X was at negative five, negative two, and now it's at negative two, negative five. Y was at negative three, four. Now it's at four, negative three. And then Z was at negative one, one. And here it's at one, negative one. And so this rule is nice because for every point that we get, if we reflect it over the y equals x line, all we're doing is switching the points or the coordinates. And so every point then becomes y comma x, right? Because whatever was the x <clears throat> is moving to the other side. So negative five, notice it's on the other side of the comma this time. And same goes for all the other points. And last example. And so this time 
we're going to reflect triangle STU over the Y equals negative X line. Y equals negative X is the diagonal line that starts from the top left and goes down to the bottom right. And so the same thing applies here. We're going to count diagonally to find all of the pre-image points. And so S is going to be one, two, three, and a half. So there's my half, one, two, three. And there is S prime, which is at one, two, three, four, five, six, one. All right, so now it's at six, one. And then now we're going to look at T. T's at one and a half. So half and then one puts T prime right there, which is at one, two, three, zero. And then U is just half. And so we go half to the other side to get U prime. And that'll be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, so four, negative three. And we get a nice small triangle on the other side of our line of symmetry. And so again, we're gonna take a look at the rule, right? And so for every X and Y point, right, that we are given, if we look, S was at negative 1, negative 6, now it's at 6, 1, both positive now. T was at 0, negative 3, now it's at 3, 0, and then U was at 3, negative 4, now it's at 4, negative 3. And so hopefully you see the pattern here. It's easier to see with S, so notice that the 1 and 6 switch spots, and the signs also change. They went from being negative to positive. And if you look at U, the same things happen. So three and four switch spots. The three was positive, now it's negative. Four was negative, now it's positive. And so when we reflect over the Y equals negative X line, our image points are negative Y, negative X. And so the only difference here from the y equals x line is that not only do we flip-flop them, but they become negative. And those are reflections. If you have any questions, email me. Come see me before or after school. Good luck on the homework. See ya.